By the time she was two, though, the seizures had become constant and started to take their toll on their once happy, joyful little girl. She started to really decline cognitively, and she was slipping away, and she just wasn't keeping up with her twin. The Figgies finally found an answer. It was awful news. Dravet syndrome. It is severe, intractable epilepsy. The seizures start during the first year of life and are unstoppable, difficult to control, and very damaging. For the next two years, the Figgies tried everything. Strange diets, acupuncture, and dozens of powerful drugs like Valium, Ativan, phenobarbital. But nothing seemed to help. Even worse, some of the medications nearly killed her. After one dose, she stops breathing. And after two doses, her heart will stop. Did you have to do CPR then on her yourself? Yes. I remember when her heart stopped and I had her pulse and I lost her pulse. There was just nothing. The ambulance is on its way. She survived. Mm. You're okay. okay. Mommy's here. But now it was fall of 2011 and Charlotte was five years old. When things were at their worst, she just sees all night, and the kids are sleeping either in my room or next door. They can hear her the seizure scream all night, 50 times a night. And Chase would come in in the morning and just, this is her twin, <laughs> and just hug her and like rub her head and say, I'm, so, I'm just so glad you survived through the night last night. Matt had been deployed to Afghanistan, and the only thing he could do to help was start scouring the internet. And he stumbled onto this video of a child using marijuana. So how's everything going? Jean had four days without a seizure. I'm like, wow, this having success on specifically Dravet, this is interesting. It's natural. And while he couldn't ever imagine taking marijuana himself, he was now in the stunning position of recommending it for Charlotte. I was like, we need to do this. And I said, I don't know. Charlie. There you are. And then... Charlotte's condition got worse. 300 seizures a week, almost two every hour. She was not talking or moving, basically catatonic. As a last resort, doctors wanted to either prescribe a powerful veterinary drug used on epileptic dogs or put Charlotte in a medically induced coma so her brain and body could rest. For Paige, those were not good options. But maybe, just maybe, Marijuana now was. Here's how scientists think it might work. Marijuana is made up of two ingredients. THC, that's the psychoactive part that makes you high, and CBD, also called cannabidiol. It's the CBD that scientists think modulates electrical and chemical activity to help quiet the excessive activity in the brain that causes seizures. Behind closed doors and under tight security, we enter what the Stanleys call the Garden of Eden. There's nothing like this in the world. This plant's 21% CBD and less than 1% THC. It took years of crossbreeding plants to get to this point. Instead of breeding up the THC, we've bred down the THC and bred up the CBD. And people said, you're crazy. You know, who's going to smoke that? So why grow it then? Well, the Stanleys also believed in CBD's potential to treat many diseases. It was January 2012, Afghanistan. About 7,000 miles away from his family in Colorado, Matt Figgy received this video from his wife Paige. It's horrible seeing these videos when I'm deployed. It was his five-year-old daughter Charlotte seizing. Diagnosed with a severe form of epilepsy, she was having 300 seizures a week. Each attack so severe, it had the potential to kill her. They had already tried dozens of high-powered drugs. We needed to try something else, and at that point in time, marijuana was that natural course of action to try. At home in Colorado, Paige searched for marijuana high in CBD. That's the ingredient some scientists think helps seizures, and also low in THC. Remember, she didn't want to get her daughter stoned. She found a small amount at a Denver dispensary. The owner was surprised that anyone would even want it. They said it's funny because no one buys this, you know. Um, that was the general consensus, that nobody wanted it. It didn't have any effect. Paige paid $800 for a small bag and took it home. I had a friend that was starting a business on making medicine. And I said, can you help me extract the medicine from the, this bag of marijuana? <laughs> I measured it with a syringe and squirted it under her tongue. 
It was exciting and very nerve wracking. Holding Charlotte in her arms, Paige waited. An hour ticked by, and then another, and then another. She didn't have a seizure that day. And then she didn't have a seizure that night. Did you sit there and sit yeah. there look at your watch? And... Right, I thought, this is crazy. And yeah. then she didn't have one the next day. And then the next day. And I thought, that is, she would have had 100 by now. And I just, I know, I just thought, this is insane. I remember how happy Paige was. Like, it's really working. I can't believe it. Yeah, that was, that was pretty amazing to hear. It had worked. Charlotte was the first of those kids. Late spring, 2012, she tried the Stanley Special Marijuana, and again, it worked. I can't tell you what that what that means to us. Get you, get you, doesn't it a little bit? <laughs> if it doesn't get you, something's wrong with you. She lived her life in a catatonic state. Now her parents get to meet her for the first time. What a revelation! Gee, yeah, gee. The child, who had had 300 seizures a week, was now down to just one every seven days. Bitter pat tiptoe. When I first met Charlotte, March of 2013, it was one year after that first dose of marijuana. A two. <laughs> after almost two years on a feeding tube, she was now eating on her own. Yellow. She was talking, even walking. Puppy. Oh, please, she said, please. Go! <laughs> and while scientists are still at the very early stages of knowing if this is actually happening, I can tell you it was remarkable to see her progress. In the three months since we first met her, we saw a change. She was now talking more. Say puppy. She's horseback riding. Good girl. She even rides a bike on her own. And the special strain made for Charlotte is now named for her. It's Charlotte's Web. It is Charlotte's plant. It's Charlotte's plant. Not anymore. Now it's for all the children. More than 41 children are using Charlotte's Web here in Colorado. All of them are reporting significant seizure reduction. And there are dozens more on a wait list, hoping, praying that a plant could change their lives, just like it did for Charlotte.